the Apple Reminders app actually gives us a few little tips and tricks that we all, particularly those of you in the GTD system, really will find quite useful. Hello and welcome to this third episode of my Working with Reminders series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this episode I want to show you a really, really fantastic trick of using reminders on your Apple device. Now, there, there is a really good reason why you would want to use Apple Reminders, Apple Notes, Apple Calendar. If you want to stay within the Apple ecosystem, then this is definitely one of those one of those apps that you really want to start learning and getting used to. Now, before we go into Mac o, uh, into reminders, I would just like to say if you want to get all the latest news, tips, and tricks on productivity, time management, and goal planning, then please hit the subscribe button, and I will be showing many videos every week. And if you do get any value from this video, then I would be so grateful if you would just hit that like button. Okay, let me take you into Apple Reminders and I'll show you one of my favorite tricks. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you just a couple of cool things that you can do with your Reminders app that you may not have thought, thought of. These are kind of like the, the advanced features if you like. So what we can do is we can activate Siri. So uh, <clears throat> remind me to buy some milk when I leave my home. Okay, so now that's been added to my inbox. So we're going to my uh, reminders app now and we've got some, well, it didn't actually add location. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but it's added that straight to my inbox. Now the thing is to set up your default uh, collection uh, project in this case inbox then you need to do that on your uh, on your laptop which would be then go into preferences i can't find how to do that in my ios device but anyway that's something that you want to have a look at now let me take you into another cool trick that you can do so you can use siri just remember to add blah 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 blah, blah and you can add whatever it is and you can do that from your apple watch your phone anything like that now another cool trick that you might have is this thing here. So we're going to have, let's go into this shopping list that I've created here. What I can do now is I can share that with reminders. So I can click the share function, click to reminders, it's going to send it over and I can add the task. The task has now been added to my list, which is, it gives me the task in the list itself. So I've got that here, that's fine, I can see that, but something else. You'll notice that when this is, you've got the note icon over there. If I tap that note icon, if I tap the note icon, it opens up the note directly in my notes app. So I can continue to add tasks to this list. So Tylenol, uh, grapes, oranges. I can add thing, continue to add to this list. Boom, done. Uh, and then <laughs> the question is, will this update? Well, I'm not sure if it will update, but... Uh, it hasn't updated yet, but the thing is, I can always go back to the original note, tap on that, hang on a minute, I tap on that, and it takes me directly straight back to the original note. So this is like one of those really, really good things that you can use. So um, this is just some of those additional little tiny features that you've got in your notes in your reminders app so i hope this series has been useful it's not necessarily the best no to do list manager out there i'm certainly not changing from to doist but i do know a lot of people are not interested in buying or spending money on big blown up uh, to do list managers and apple's you know reminders is now certainly a contender in there and it's something that you can use and get the most out of and i strongly recommend it you can set it up however way you want 
and you can do a lot of amazing things. One thing I should point out is you can, from your inbox, you can just grab the, uh, a task like that and you can just drag it into a project like that. So this is a really cool way of actually doing things. You can collect things into your inbox using the COD system, the collect, organize and do, and processing your inbox at the end of the day can be done just as simply as picking up a task like that and dragging it and just moving it into a project like that, done so so easy to do and you've got all your various details in there anyway i hope that's been useful i hope you've got some use out of this it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you for watching this video now if you want to take your productivity to a higher level then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of your digital life 2.0 online it is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course. And it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.